Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I am talking about watches. And today it's time for another 10 watches on my AliExpress wish list. And I have to say, I'm not sure if I'm getting better at picking watches to put on my wish list, or perhaps AliExpress is actually putting some more amazing watches onto the sort of the, the application or the store that you're looking at. But there seems to be some great watches out there and this top 10 list or this 10 watches that are on my wish list right now is probably the best top 10 list that I've come up with so far. But guys, I'm going to be talking about these watches, but I've not had any hands-on experience with any of them. There are quite a few that I want to buy. They are on my wish list because I actually want to buy them. Unfortunately, 10 watches is probably too many for me to buy. But because I have not had any hands-on experience, I'm not specifically recommending them to you. I'm just bringing your attention to them. If you do choose to buy them, however, I will leave an affiliate link down to the store that I've found these watches on. And if you do happen to buy them, hey, send me a message. Tell me what they're like, because as much as I'm going to be buying a couple of these, I unfortunately can't quite afford to buy all of them. And having some feedback about these specific watches from you guys would be absolutely fantastic. And I really would appreciate it if you have not subscribed already, just to click on to that little subscribe button. But let's jump into the list using my little trusty notebook to make my life a little bit easier. And the first watch I'm going to show you is the one I am most excited about and probably the one I'm most likely to buy for myself. Now check it out. You are going to know what this is homaging. It's pretty obvious. Why am I then so excited? Well, it covers two things that I've wanted out of this watch. Firstly, I've wanted the smaller dimension size variation of this watch. There are a few of these on AliExpress already that have this sort of very specific look but they are the bigger watch i am wanting a homage of the slightly smaller watch this one here is the 39 millimeter case diameter version that is the one that i've been chasing but not just that i've been wanting a good quality 39 millimeter case diameter version and i'm pretty sure octopus crack on is going to be the watch for me because of every review I've seen of an Octopus Kraken watch has been pretty good in saying that they're a really good quality watches. So it does come in this standard sort of black with the gilt sort of look, but it also comes in the blue dial as well. So yes, this is the Octopus Kraken 008, as I said, in blue and in the black gilt. It has that rivet style bracelet. And as I mentioned, the case diameter, 39 millimeters with a lug to lug of 47 millimeters. This comes with both the PT5000 and the Salida SW200 movement. PT5000 is $445. And of course you are gonna be paying a little bit extra for that Salida movement. Getting a Swiss watch in an AliExpress watch does pump the price up a bit, making it 630 Australian dollars. This one also has a sapphire crystal and a ceramic basil insert. Looks great is the size that I want, and I'm fairly sure this one's gonna be absolutely on my shopping list, not just on my wish list. The second one on the list is actually something that I'm almost as excited about the first watch. It is from Addy's Dive, and I've not owned a watch from Addy's Dive before, so it's been quite interesting to see this one and think, oh yes, I like it. This is the Addy's Dive AD2118, and as you can see, it has a rather special looking dial. It has like a dimpled sort of 3D effect, comes in white. I think it also comes in a light blue, but I particularly like the white sort of 3D dial. For some reason, I seem to be quite liking white dials that have this sort of 3D effect. Um, has a great set of dimensions as well. It's also a 39 millimeter case diameter, sapphire crystal, Seiko NH35 movement, and it's all priced in at 190 Australian dollars. So it's a really well priced watch from a relatively known quantity brand, good looking dial, uh, great movement, really well priced. So this one I think is definitely going to be on my shopping list as well, not just on the wish list. The next one's a little bit different, but something that has really captured my attention. And I think this black and white style dial seem to be doing it for me lately. This one here is a Galtron Big Fly by Rudan or Rudin. I'm not sure how you pronounce that one. It has a 40 millimeter case diameter. It's coming in at 300 Australian dollars. And for that 300 Australian dollars, you're getting a Seagull ST1931 hand winding movement with that display case back, which is what we do like to see from these Seagull movements. So you're getting a really cool looking dial, nice dimensions, and that great see-through case back showing off that amazing chronograph movement. This one here also obviously has that little flip calendar at the 12, it's like an oversized date window flip calendar, which I think is also very, very cool. Comes with a leather strap and sapphire crystal. 
So jumping into the fourth watch on my wish list today, it's actually from Bernie. I do have a bit of a sweet spot for Bernie. I'm not quite sure why, but I just kind of like their watches. This one here is the AM132M. This comes in a couple of variations of colors of the dials, that being red, blue, black, yellow, and a pale blue. And like most Bernie watches, this one is also quite affordable, coming in at 175 Australian dollars. This one is powered by the Seiko NH35, 200 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal, 40 millimeter case diameter, and it comes with a butterfly cast on that stainless steel bracelet. This one here is obviously a homage as well, and those collars are also sort of homaging the, the watch that it is sort of looking at. So this is like an affordable version of a bit of a taste of that watch on your wrist. Now the next one's quite interesting. This one's from Tandorio. I've had a couple of hands-on experience with Tandorio watches and I've been really impressed by it. But this one is obviously a homage as well. And it's a homage of a watch which I was not expecting to be homaged, but it's really good. It's called the Tandorio Field Watch. It comes in both a silver and a black dial. Super affordable 95 Australian dollars which is fantastic and this one is going to suit people with slightly smaller wrists or if you just like that slightly smaller dial sort of configuration that being 36 millimeters that's the case I wish I liked 36 millimeter watches I would like to buy a lot of 36 millimeter watches unfortunately for me the few that I've owned I found they're just a little bit small on my wrist I think it's more my personality though looking down at them I do hope that that sort of evolves at some point so I can start buying watches like this one it comes the sapphire crystal 200 meters of water resistance and it comes on a leather strap now number six i think it's really cool really different really funky and i like that color as well now i'm going to butcher this 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 um, name is aduki a o u k e o o u k e it's either way it's by lumbini this one here is the 5017 it's reasonably affordable 270 australian dollars this is the aqua dial i think looks absolutely fantastic but it also does come in a dark blue and silver dial um, there's two um, models that also come with like a brass look sort of the 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 case itself this one here is the pick of the bunch for me that i think i like sapphire crystal 41.5 millimeter case diameter 50 meters of water resistance and a japanese automatic movement now it doesn't specify which japanese automatic movement that this one has which from my experience means it's a miyota 8 series now, at this sort of price mm, i'm not 100 percent convinced on that but it's certainly not overpriced with that sort of movement in it especially when it looks this good number seven is something that i would be absolutely going to buy if i did not already had a really good quality homage of this watch this one's by san martin it's the sn006 it is a limited edition mill sub homage now i have the steinhardt mill sub and it is one of my favorite watches in my collection so to buy another watch that looks pretty much the same is not really worthwhile for me but if i did not have that steinhardt i'll be absolutely looking at this one it's three 340 Australian dollars, powered by the YN55 movement, sapphire crystal, a 40 millimeter case diameter with a lug to lug of 48.5 millimeters, sterile case back, which these sort of sort of homage of these style watches tend to have. 200 meters of water resistance there is a black vintage sort of loon dop version which is the one i'm showing here the one that i sort of think about when i think about this sort of watch or there's a blue one with some more white sort of vivid dots so it looks more like a bit of a modern variation of it number eight is super interesting but there's a bit of an issue with it this one here is a merca mechanical alarm watch looks really cool so it's a mechanical alarm so that's funky has a case diameter of 38.5 millimeters lug to lug of 47 millimeters 50 meters of water resistance sapphire crystal limited to 150 watches and it features a soviet mechanical hand winding movement now here's the catch it's not particularly cheap but it's particularly interesting I'm, i am rather interested in this one unfortunately it's 610 australian dollars now, is it worth 610 Australian dollars? Well, maybe, maybe it is. It's a mechanical alarm watch. There aren't that many of them out there. The only ones that I've seen recently, especially the Soviet sort of uh, movements, are more vintage watches. But yeah, I, I like the look of it. I like the sort of interest factor to it. But $610, 
maybe slightly outside of my price bracket when it comes to AliExpress watches. Let me know what you guys think. Number 10 is a homage to one of my favorite watches and it's pretty obvious what it is. If you don't know what it is, well, do a little bit of Google searching, I'm sure you'll see it. This is by Felita. I've owned a previous Felita and I was very, very impressed by how good quality it was. This is the Felita 500 Diver. 43.5 millimeter case diameter, which is what I'm expecting because the watch that it is homaging is generally a bigger version as well. 500 meters of water resistance. An AliExpress watch with 500 meters of water resistance, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm sure you'd absolutely be able to get this one wet, I have no doubt. 16 millimeters thick, which means it is a bit of a chunky monkey. Well, and if it's got 500 meters of water resistance, well, that's probably what we expect. Very reasonably priced as well at 200 Australian dollars. And if it's as good quality as the Felita I've already owned, then I think this one's actually gonna be made really well. Now it's available with the logo or without the logo. And it's something that really interests me because I particularly like the watch that it is homaging. And it's really well priced this one. So certainly sort of possibility of me getting this one in the future. Next one is another watch by Rodeland. It is the Rodeland F014. Now we're gonna pretty much see this and know what it is homaging. It's quite an interesting sort of looking watch. Not something that I normally steer towards, but having owned that amazing Rodeland already, I'm starting to look at what else they have in their range because, hey, if any of them are as good as the one I already own, then all of their other ones are going to be fantastic as well. Well, maybe that's the idea. This one costs 380 Australian dollars, depending on the um, type of dial. There's a few different dial variations. Um, some go up to about 410 Australian dollars. Case is 42 millimeters, 100 meters of water resistance, powered by the PT5000 movement. You can see it obviously has that integrated bracelet comes with some different interesting dials. There's a speckled blue dial, which has little speckles on it. I think that was the more expensive one. There is a mother of pearl one, which I think sounds really good, but their sort of variation of it, I think it looks a little bit odd. But then there's this really, really nice sort of blue fading into black, which I think is actually my favorite. I'm fairly sure that's one of the cheaper ones in this sort of option or this sort of feel of these particular watches. So guys, there's my 10 watches on my watch list at the moment. I am actually seriously interested in all 10 of these. Of course, buying all 10 would completely decimate my watch budget, but I guess I have a watch budget for a particular reason. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I really do hope to see you in the next video.